Hello, episode 12, here we go. Let's get right into it. We don't have any time to waste this week. First, well, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button um, and tap the bell for the notification so you don't miss 11 episodes of the greatest garage build ever built. Yeah, or done, whatever. So here we go. All right, so if you were here last episode, thank you. This is all purified, nice and hard, uh, no issues there. And then I did test this over here, so I dropped a big bottle of water, not a big bottle, but like, I don't know, 20 ounces of water in here. It ran down and then you see my little gutter here, right around. So that worked. And then uh, I did get my little Terminex things in. If you're following along, I had to get a drill. And then also this like silver um, waterproofing. So that stuff is pretty messy. And when I was uh, putting it down, you know, like with a brush or whatever, just got everywhere. So like, it's, it's really, it's a mess, but like it has, um, it's really like goopy, is that a word? Right out of the, the can. So anyway, little drop, and it's supposed to be silver obviously, but it has this wa uh, water resistive, you know, fibers and everything in it. So you can't just like wipe it up because then you end up spreading it. So anyway, long story short, I ended up having to get uh, like a half gallon, maybe a full gallon of paint thinner <laughs> and then a steel wire brush just to try to clean up the edge a little bit. because. And you can kind of see before, I think, maybe if you go back to like episode three, four, five, somewhere in there, before I did that, uh, there's like a little lip that's next to the existing wall that is actually lower than the concrete for the patio. So that's why we did that. But anyway, that's all cleaned up now. Um, what else did I do? I moved the sprinkler. Guys are coming this morning. That's why I'm moving this car out of the garage. Also, let me let me pull contractors. Contractors, if you're watching this, I love you by the way, but sometimes you guys drive me nuts. And as a, con as a former contractor, there are just things that contractors do that I'll never understand. For instance, we have this giant driveway now. Well, let me turn you around here. Okay, so we have this giant driveway and one car will park right in the middle, like a van, truck, whatever. And then you can't pull over here, you can't pull over here. Now, normally we move our cars out when there's gonna be more than like, you know, two or three groups of people here. But look, how, I mean, and now granted, we got it full of a dump trailer and that trailer for tile and materials and whatever. But like, this is a massive space. So you can get three cars wide here, but, and still make the funnel to get out of here. But I just, I don't understand that <laughs> at all. Like. Is that the thing, contractors? At contracting school, are they like, hey, just park right in the middle. That way no one can get in or out. see coat number one is on uh, so we're just doing basic white out here so uh, this is just one coat obviously uh, we're gonna chop that off and the whole thing you know uh, but anyway really happy with how this is looking so far a ton more nails came through but for the first coat not too bad not too shabby I'm hoping that it fills that space in pretty well too. Um, and then white walls as well and then we'll have like a it's like a really light gray uh, Swiss tracks for the flooring in here, but they are gonna paint the concrete as well. And we still gotta clean this up, but uh, really happy with, with this. I think it's gonna be nice and bright and easy to work in and so on and so forth. We did get like a torrential downpour and <laughs> I was just waiting for water to come through here somewhere, but it didn't. So our uh, little waterproofing is working out well. And then they, banned me from going in here, um, mostly because they painted another coat and I think they put grout down in there, but I'll see tomorrow if I can sneak in there. And then out here, they did get the rest of this caulked up so that it's now ready for paint out here. So I assume probably paint out here, paint inside one more coat and then one more coat, uh, two coats out here. Yeah, so one more inside, two out here. Um, and we're doing two different, like a darker color on the siding 
and then the match the trim like this over here. Uh, so this will be just a little bit lighter and then that will be like a semi-gloss I think all the way down but then this will be like a satin so good progress today though lots of painting and they painted this off it too out here already so getting there primed they primed this because that's not the same color so tomorrow they'll probably <laughs> finish the trim <laughs> okay so a couple days later coat number two is done and uh, this is looking really good, really good. Uh, I thought about doing black up here, but I think that uh, the white's a good option. I know it's plain, very sterile, but honestly, I like sterile. Uh, obviously still a lot of uh, work going on here, but they got all the framing in for the um, garage door framing and everything to attach the metal you know, stuff to. They got the trim in, uh, they got the trim around the doors, got that painted. Still gotta paint this door. Um, I think we're actually gonna do a different color there, but um, anyway, and then outside, they've got everything painted here. So um, everything, this has been primed, this has been painted, but they are gonna come back and do another uh, another layer. So you can see they re, re uh, caulked some of this, um, but uh, looking good. And then they gotta box that in, box that in and then close that off just for aesthetics. Um, and out here, all painted as well, so looking good. But again, still a little more caulking up there. And again, this is just like paint one coat, come back and see where you got gaps and, you know, imperfections and stuff. But uh, looking good on the all there. Looking real good. Loving this color. Perfect match to the, uh, to the front. So that's like the same color as the uh, Cedar Shake uh, wall that we have in the front. And then the trim's a little bit lighter you can see there so yeah so another day of painting inside uh, another day of painting outside probably as well um not in here i think this is done pretty sure this is done uh but in here crowd is in still got a little bit of touch up paint stuff to do still waiting for the door but uh yeah that's our alarm there and moving right along so the vanity's in uh, the toilet is not in yet but uh we're getting there slowly but surely <laughs> slowly but surely trim is painted there so yeah we're uh pretty happy with how this is looking so far white uh ceiling white ceiling white up there so i think they're gonna paint that i can't remember oh yeah and then they painted the concrete uh and that top plate or bottom plate i guess all the way around as well so yeah and Yesterday, or I can't remember the day before that, maybe I got a text from FedEx that was like, You have 18 packages coming. And I'm like, What? Who sent me 18 packages and what is going on here? Uh, and then it started showing up, and I was like, Hmm, right. <laughs> so, so this is our front door, and the FedEx guy couldn't get the truck any closer to this. But uh, Swiss Tracks is in, so this is uh, this is actually out of Dalton, Georgia, which is pretty cool. Um, let me see if I can show you this without giving my personal information away. Well, just take my word for it. How about that? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could always zoom. But anyway, so that's uh, all the Swiss tracks. So there's 18 boxes here. Well, yeah, 18 boxes. And uh, let's see if I can show you real quick what this is going to look like. So I had a little sample here of uh, what we've got here. So this is pearl silver. Um, so I think it's uh, I think it's the perfect color. Now... A lot of people will say gray or like slate, you know, whatever. I like this color. I think it's clean. I think it's a little bit lighter than the dark that everyone else does because the dark is almost that dark, I feel like. Um, darker than that. Yeah. So anyway, but uh, this is Swiss track. So uh, we're, we're going to do a whole video on this. Don't you worry. Your pretty little faces. Uh, but you can see it's like right out on the top. So all the dirt, dust, grime, whatever goes down underneath this and then you say Matt what happens to the stuff underneath well yeah just grab a blower and you blow it out but that is gonna look absolutely amazing in there uh, and a little contrast of course from the white uh, wall so if this goes to the garage door the garage door seam will come like right in here maybe right in here depending on how those tiles lay out uh, but anyway this is the edge and then this is the actual tile so these are like 15 by 15 15 and a quarter three quarter by 15 and three quarters 
Uh, and then they're like a three quarter, yeah, three quarter inch thick. Um, but then they got these little channels underneath so that water and whatever else can still move. So it's floating, it does this uh, until you secure it in place, lock it in place. But uh, that, um, oh God, I can't even, I'm standing on it because it, I was worried about like how it would feel. But uh, I'm so excited about that. Cannot wait for that part. Um, but uh, anyway, in other news, we're actually leaving for, I'm gonna turn this light off. We're actually leaving for California uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Thursday. This won't come out for like another week or two, I think. So uh, anyway, my 40th birthday is in a couple weeks, probably by the time you see this a week. And uh, we're headed to California for the week. We're flying into San Francisco, uh, renting a car, and then driving all the way down the Pacific Coast Highway to Los Angeles. Yeah, Los Angeles. I thought we may have been going to San Diego, but definitely Los Angeles. So really excited about that. So I'm gonna miss a couple days of work here, obviously, for them, uh, Thursday, and no, Friday. Oh, and Monday, Friday and Monday. So uh, they're gonna keep going though. They're just gonna keep plugging along. I think they've only really got like another week or so, maybe, give or take. I don't know, it's probably a month. But uh, anyway, really excited about this trip though. Of course we're going to vlog it. Uh, I'm glad you asked. But, uh, but anyway, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and uh, it's just Melissa and I, it's just my wife and I, so really excited about that as well. The kids are going to the beach with grandparents and then we'll be on a plane tomorrow night. So uh, look out for that video. I think that video is actually gonna come out before this one. I don't know, we'll have to check and see. But anyway, nevertheless, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for subscribing and tapping the bell for the notifications. The next episode of this is gonna be just finishing everything up, including the pantry and the mudroom and the Actually, the mudroom is going to be like another month, but we'll do the Swiss tracks, we'll do the mudroom, we'll do the pantry, we'll do the uh, bathroom, we'll do Murphy's little storage area. He's got a new little uh, crate coming in here, a bigger crate than we have now. Uh, so we'll do an episode of that, we'll do an episode of the Swiss tracks, and then, yeah, like a final wrap-up. Oh, garage doors. <laughs> See, this is how it happens. You add one thing and then five other things come along. So... Anyway, I think they've got, we've got like five, six more episodes, maybe. It'll be less than 20. Um, but uh, anyway, I really do appreciate you following along. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for tapping that bell for notifications. Uh, we've got a lot of other content coming here as well. I'll have the boat back here next month, end of the month. Uh, so we're going to work on that a little bit. I'll show you the whole thing off there, and we'll tell you the, the background story, its current state, what our plans for it, all that type of stuff are because there are other plans for that. Um, and that's probably gonna fill the void for the, like the rest of this year, I think is in terms of like projects and stuff, because I've just about had all I can handle uh, for this year, I think. So anyway, thank you again for watching. Really do appreciate it. Um, I'm hoping that you're getting something out of this, even if it's just entertaining, educating, informational, fun to watch. I don't, I don't know. I'd love to hear a comment though, <laughs> time from you. What are you getting from this? Uh, it's especially if you've been here from the get. If you've been here since episode one or even beyond that where I just talked about this kind of like being an idea way out there in the ether and now it actually coming true. Um, I'd, uh, I'd just love to hear from you. So thank you again for commenting down below. Really appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.